A question, this one's by email. Brian asked me, do you, uh, so when the temperatures were so far off in that last storm, he said, do you know if modelers use a feedback loop? And so what he's asking essentially is, does the model know it, can it, can it be told it's wrong, re-enter the data and, and start over again? The short answer is no, because of the amount of time it takes to get the computer model to run. So they run every six hours, the Euro European model and the American GFS and the other models that we don't care about. So what happens is you take currents, so everything from temperatures, dew point, satellite imagery, all of this is ingested into the model. That takes two hours to happen. It's all the data from all over the world, right? Because it has to see it as a system. Then the model starts crunching the numbers. Believe it or not, even with today's supercomputers, this takes three to five hours wow. to solve all the equations in the atmosphere that we know to predict the future. Then you get your output. So the difference between the input time and the output time is about six hours. So what happens is, if the model thinks it's going to be 32, 38, 41, and it's actually 25, it can't crunch the numbers fast enough. And that's why the very basic premise that everybody knows, that the longer out you go, the more the errors get compounded. And so our biggest hurdle in weather forecasting isn't our knowledge, it's still computing power, believe it or not. Huh. If we could crunch these numbers in a half hour, we would be just ballparking 10 or 15 percent more accurate. So I hate to ask the question, but why forecast so far out if you can't be sure about it? And I know it's probably not in your control, and I know we're out of time. So maybe we can address <coughs> that moving That's forward. That's tomorrow's uh, Monday's uh, break drop. There you go. Monday's, Monday's break drop. <laughs> <Very good. laughs>